Hello and welcome back to Dean December. Today I'm going to talk about one of my favorite encounters ever, the encounter with a Bone Goliath. So for this campaign, I was playing the part of Delg Galarin, a dwarf rogue, and my buddy Chico was the dungeon master. So Delg enters the city of Yartar, a smallish town that has a job fair every year. You can see all sorts of people trying to get jobs. Dwarves, halflings, tieflings, even some Asimar in there, half-orcs, everybody from all different walks of life trying to get jobs. So as Delg was perusing everybody's booths, he came across a halfling who was being chased by the city watch. Delg, disguised as a soldier himself, joined the chase and eventually caught the halfling and was able to persuade the other guards to leave them be. The halfling introduced himself to Delg as Horos. Horos asked Delg if he was looking for a job and he said of course he was, that's why he was in Yartar. And Horos tells him of a nearby cemetery with a crypt, and inside that crypt lied a very valuable and ancient artifact. He and his sister came to Yartar to take this artifact and study its origins. He had asked Delg if he wanted to come on to the assignment and help them retrieve this thing. Delg agreed, and later that night, they went to the crypt. Horos introduced Delg to his sister Hera and gave him a sending stone. Now if you're unfamiliar with sending stones, I don't know if they're an actual item or my DM came up with them, but they're basically rocks that can permanently cast sending to the other rock it's connected to, so kind of like walkie talkies. He gave one sending stone to Delg and the other to his sister Hera, as Hera would stay and keep watch. So Horos and Delg delved into the crypt. Now this crypt was, as many crypts are, dark, dank, dusty, gross, filled with traps. There were a couple that Delg had to disarm. After fighting through some undead, they finally came across this artifact. A red gemstone. That we would later find out is actually one of seven pieces of a god long dead and forgotten. As Delg picks up the artifact, the entire ground starts to quake. Horo suggests that they should rush back up to his sister Hera, and they do so, but not without a loss. Delg was able to get out of the crypt, but Horos sadly could not make it. He tripped on the stairs and was crushed by all the falling rubble. Hera had no time to mourn her dead brother before the ground split open, and out came an absolutely monstrous, gargantuan creature made up of the bones of several skeletons. It eventually came out to about 20 feet tall. Standing before us was what my dungeon master called a Bone Goliath. The Bone Goliath would eventually fell Delg, but Delg's soul as it wandered the astral plane came across a wraith, whom he fought so his soul could remain on the prime material plane. After the wraith was slain, Delg's soul was shoved back into his body, but the Bone Goliath was still causing destruction, leaving the city of Yartar in shambles. Delg and Hera, along with Galandan and some other new friends, embarked on a journey to find the rest of this fractured god and bring him back to being. 